thing, an extra thick filling of cream. Oh, man, that's some apple pie. Can I see it? Maybe you'd like to see mine. Some delicious magic. It inhibits and distorts the... We're going to infuse some butter. Take your wheat and put it into a baking dish with a lid. Preheat your oven to 250 degrees and let it just gently toast for 25 to 35 minutes. Add... In this episode, we're going to quickly review how to convert your cannabis for cooking. And then we're going to infuse some oils. Some olive oil, some coconut oil, some bacon grease, and some duck fat. That's right, I said duck fat, it's delicious. The method we're going to use today to infuse our oil is called sous vide. Now that is just a fancy French word for under vacuum. What this does is it keeps the water at the exact temperature that you set it all day. More reliable than any man I've met to date. Let's set the temperature to 210 degrees. To prepare our oils, we're going to put 182 grams or about one cup of each oil into each one of these mason jars. I'm then going to add 3.5 grams of decarboxylized bud into each one of these jars. I like to label the top of the jar with what kind of oil it is and the THC content of the weed that I'm putting into it so I can do my calculations better later on when I'm making something to eat. We're going to put the lids on tightly and then we're going to submerge and just let those all hang out for about four hours. While that's working its magic, I have time to go answer a question from my website. Feel free to write in to pitsybates.com and send me any question you want, or visit my Facebook page as well. This next question is from Mr. Richard Fader of Fort Lee, New Jersey. Hi, Richard. Um, he writes in and says, Bitsy, you always look amazing. I like where this is going, Richard. Uh, what I want to know is what is your favorite edible? Mr. Fader, thank you for the compliment and the question. You know damn well what my favorite edible is. It's in your pants. How you doing? After four hours, remove the jars. Ow, 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 ow. Well, there's gotta be a tool around here I can use. Can I borrow yours? Once these are at room temperature, remove the lid and strain into separate containers. Label everything with a green sticker so that you know when you open up the refrigerator that this is medicated. Alright? This is important. And there you have it. Four different food lubes. How easy was that? When you put these in the refrigerator, they will re-solidify. The olive oil, not so much. These can last in the refrigerator up to 60 days, but trust me, you're gonna burn through this. That's it for now. I'm Bitsy Bates, and I'm looking so forward to having more fun with you cooking with cannabis right here in Uncle Ike's Cannabis Kitchen.